know that Namibia actually shares a border with Angola. We are currently walking at the no man's land. So this is the border that separates um, Angola and Namibia, man. It, it's beautiful, man. For me, walking inside no man's land with no passport, I love to build a house here because this is not for anybody. <laughs> can I please walk to the no man's land? Yeah. Hey. So here you don't need a passport. <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't need a passport to be here. Yeah. So like, um, I was told that like Angola shares a border with Namibia, so that's why we decided to come and check it out since we came to the north. So currently where we are standing right now is no man's land. So yeah, we are not. We are neither in Angola, neither are we in uh, namibia so yeah i think i can build a house in here so that I can is it allowed to build a house here <laughs> no it's allowed ask him ask him <laughs> is it allowed to build a house here no <laughs> <laughs> oh, i can sleep here without any <laughs> you told me that I can actually go to Angola without a passport and a visa because I need a visa to go to Nami uh, Angola you know that that's the privilege of being a citizen of my village Whoa. <laughs> of my village is that you can walk from Namibia over to Angola without a passport visa and the police will not arrest you how must I show you you have to let's I let's really want to walk Okay. That, that would be in Guinness Book of Record. Okay, that so who walked from Namibia <laughs> to Angola with that passport and a visa? I yeah. really want to do that. Okay, so currently, guys, we are on the Namibian side. You can see, right? Oh, the whole of this area is Namibia. All of this area is Namibia. We are going to walk now and cross the border without your passport or visa. No one will ask you for it. No one is going to arrest you. Again, a privilege of being a resident of my village. Let's go. We're going to Angola now. This is us crossing over to Angola. Hi! This is us. So if, if you stand, can you see this road? Yeah. That road divides Angola and Namibia. This road? Yes, that is the border. This border goes all the way to Oshikango. All the way to Oshikango. It goes Runda? further. Yeah. Runda is this side. Yes, Rundu is this side. Rundu. Yes. So this divides Angola and Namibia. And we are... Where we right. are now is no man's land. No man's land! Yeah. Namibian police can't do anything. Angolan police can't do anything to you. Here. Here. Nothing. What? I can build a house here. <laughs> well, the, ma it's the, the, the piece is too small. The piece is too small. Yes. So if you build a house here, I think they will consider you like um, you are weak. No, they can't consider me as a, a, a son, a bushman. Because the house that I went in there is too small. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to farm. Sleep, wake up, that's okay. No, I don't need it. I'll buy it. <laughs> this is serious bushman living lifestyle. So we are going to cross over to Angola now. Oh. We have crossed. You so, have walked. And so you have... right now, mm -hmm. this is Angola. This is Angola. If anything happens right now, the Angolan government needs to deal with you. This is within the Angolan jurisdiction. Really? Yes. You're not recording. N Ah, so we can go. Maybe. Um, um, so, people living here are living in Angola? People living here are living in Angola. Are they Angolan? Most of them have Namibian citizenship. Yeah. But they just live on this side. Live. Yeah, and I think because this is a colonial demarcation, it's a colonial border. Because most of the people, I think you can go again 50 kilometers in, you just find Namibians that are speaking Oshiwambo, Oshikwanyama. You won't find Angolans. So, so can the, I say that the people of Angola and Namibia were literally the same people? Yes. And they were just divided by the colonial borders? Yes, so most of the Okwanyama people are from Angola, my people. It's just the border that divided. And we had a king, King Mandume. Hmm. He, he killed himself because he didn't want to be killed by the colonizers. So his grave is further into Angola, Kiholi. And that's believed to be the actual border of Angola and Namibia. 
but then because of colonialism they put up this border so on this border they used to have like uh, almost like cameras so if you cross the border the boor the south african army can see you and they can kill you along this border whoa yeah that's how they ruled but then they couldn't go further into angola because then the portuguese colonized angola so it was a different enemy that they are fighting so this was for south africans yes and this one was for portuguese, portuguese yes and that is how the Angolans also speak Portuguese today. But, but what about, that, do, you, do you speak Portuguese? Mpoko. But he speaks Portuguese. You speak Portuguese? Yeah. Hi. Como estás? Como estás? Tudo bem? Bem, obrigada. Obrigado. Yeah. Yes. Obrigado. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Maya from Ghana. I say from Ghana. Eh? Yeah, you know Ghana? Eh, my name is Simon Yashingwe. <laughs> from where? Eh, oh, Ampu, the Wanga. 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 Yeah. Where are you from? Wanga. Eh? Where are you from? Wanga. Angola or Namibia? Are you where are you from? It's uh, Namibia. Namibia, but yeah. you, but you are in Angola now. Yeah, it's, it's crosses. Crosses. So you yeah. cross to yeah. Angola. Where's your passport? Where's your passport? Yeah? Your passport? Oh no, no passport. The passport is mm, the board. Yeah, you don't need passport you to cross here. You don't need passport here. to cross here. Ah uh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. no. So yes. not... Tara. Mm. I, I, Mona. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, we had our cattle in Angola, and the Angolan people can also come to Namibia and buy stuff in Namibia. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to know, yeah, uh -huh. if you are living, you are living here. Yes. If you had one thing to change about this, what would you change? Honestly, there's a lot of things I would change, but what I would change is access to health facilities. There is no health facilities on this side. Uh, if you have to go to a clinic, you either get onto a donkey. A lot of people actually die between the, this forest going to the clinic because it's so far. So if I were to change anything really is access to health facilities, even if it's just a mobile clinic. I've been mobilizing a couple of people to get a mobile clinic. I haven't gotten much of it, but hopefully that is really what I would want to it's, get. Is this something that you really want to do? Yes, that's something that I really want to do because it's not only my village, the Angolan people also come for the clinic. How much do you think it will cost to build a... We probably need a, maybe a hundred thousand Namibian dollars. Just a, a small clinic, a mobile clinic, where people can just come and get maybe immunization, where the health uh, workers can just come and stand. Can I do that? Would you like to do that? Ah, would you like to do that? I mean, if you want me to do it, I'm... Oh, yes, please! Oh my God, really? Yep. Can I do that? Oh my, please, think. I'll go and show you the place. Just tell me and then... Yes, um, please do that. that. Wow, I'll guys. And then when you finish it, I won't be here, but when you finish it, make sure you do a video. Let us know that oh, you did Oh, wow. All right? Please. Oh wow Very guys. What the man? Let me do that. Wow. Yeah. And they are named, I'm telling them that they are, yeah. you are going to build us a clinic. Yes. All these people here, they have Namibian citizenship. All of them. And they are in Angola right now. Right? Yes. So they do you guys have the curfew? In Angola, we don't have curfew. No, but Namibia has uh, 10 o'clock curfew. So, as soon as curfew hits, uh -huh. and we are not done with life, we just cross over, <laughs> we switch on our car lights, okay. and life continues. Oh, no, everyone has parked this car. Yes, yes. so you have to park your car that side. So it's a, you can't enter with it. Yeah. With the car, because if the police patrol, then they want a permit for the car. Yeah. Okay. That's why they park that side, and then they, they cross over. Can you see? People like this, so he's, we are just showing he's very grateful for the hospital. You know, he won't have to walk. He won't have to walk. Thank you so much. And wow. I'm actually wow. overwhelmed. But make sure, like, let us see the process. How Definitely. It's going to be happening and then. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Maybe and you can spend a month. You finish. Yeah. Then you just let us know. I'll definitely do yeah. that. I'll definitely do that. In Angola, no? So, um, my cousin just informed me mm. that we'll now get water from Angola. Yeah. We don't need to go back to Namibia. We'll just get water, water from, from Angola, Angola here. Cross. Cross. Yeah. 
That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> you're actually on the same land and you're telling us that we are in Angola. We are in you know, this is what colonization did to Africa. And yeah. um, someday I wish this borders will be closed so yeah. that all of us can move freely from one country to another. You know, it's Africa. so difficult to travel in Africa as an African. Is it? Extremely difficult. Like I've been to 22 African countries and 22. sometimes you get arrested, you get deported. Really? Just because you're coming from, some, some of them even refuse to allow you to enter their country. It's crazy. Why would, as an African, yeah. especially, yeah. Even when I was coming to Namibia, mm -hmm. I have my visa already. Yeah. But this lady was asking me like some, so many stupid questions that I've never seen any immigration officer asking me. Like, really? I couldn't even believe that, yo, as an African, where did you get all the money to travel? Like, oh. how come you have so many visas? The this lady is like, she's not going to allow me to enter. And I'm like, you know what? Do whatever you want to do. But, but if you finish, give me my passport. Yeah. And they said, let me see your bank account. I'm like, really? <clears throat> they said, okay, you know what? If you don't, if you, I said, you can't see my bank account. They said, oh, what about physical cash? And I, I have physical cash in my bag. I showed her, and then she looked at my face and it's like, okay, it's okay. And I told her, you know, I even have two visas from Namibia. The wow. immigration officer canceled one because I had a meeting with her. I can't make it. So she should give me another one. Uh -huh. She gave me another one. So if the ambassador has given me another one, what why are you two? Uh, and it so honestly shouldn't be that difficult to travel within Africa. It's difficult. It's the most difficult place I've ever traveled within. I'm so sorry <laughs> about your experience. Yeah. What is your name? My name is Maya. What about you? My name is Naponikwa. Naponikwa. You are Namibian or what? Namibia. Namibia. Yes. Oh, but now you are in Angola. Until <laughs> you cannot laugh. <laughs> <laughs> How you laugh? It's a verb. It's a verb. You are dead. 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 You are I don't know if you have been following the twins. They say a bisexual couple that got a surrogate in South Africa. Mm. And the twins were then denied um, entry to Namibia. One, the fathers are Namibian. I think one is South African, one is Namibian. Mm. And due to immigration laws, there's either a step or a policy or a law that was missed. So they couldn't come home. Now, many of my people along the border face the same problem. They are Namibian. They are born by Namibian parents, but they can't get citizenship. Why? Because they can't prove... That they are Namibian. Yes. And honestly, you are born... Imagine if you are born here, there's no way you can be Angolan. You are Angolan because of the land, but you are Namibian. So a lot of them don't have citizenship, and I think the government is now trying to resolve that, but it's taking forever. So this man is one of them. Who is that? The man with the, yeah, the crutches. He's one of them. He doesn't have citizenship, so now they are teasing him. They are saying, hey, listen, these people are here to fight for your rights, and you, you are not listening. <laughs> and he's angry. Oh. Yeah. So that's it. Immigration, it's a, it's a problem that oh. we face on this oh. side. Yeah. So he's, okay. he's neither yeah. Namibian or Angolan. Yes. Okay. But he's definitely okay. Namibian. We all know, growing up, we know he's Namibian. Okay. Yeah. We finished, we stopped by the cooker shops in Angola mm -hmm. to just refresh a bit. Yeah, we are, we are currently in Angola. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to cross over to the well where we are going to get water. Mm -hmm. Namibians don't have water, so we have to get the water from Angolans. <laughs> We're so sorry, Angolans. We're gonna borrow water from you all. You know, in Africa, we share. Yeah. Hey, Angola. yes. Angola. <laughs> to to be. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe that we are in Angola. How, how, how is that even possible? <laughs> I don't have a passport. I don't have a visa. Yo, it's time for you to pull the basket with okay. So we are going to collect water now. Yeah. And we'll just show you guys that process. Yeah. <laughs> you must be careful, don't fall in the well. No. I told you there's no health facilities here. <laughs> to take us forever to get to a clinic. 
So heavy. Then you take the basket. Yeah. Then you take the water. You pour in the basket. Then you continue there, Latanga, near Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You are a serious village boy. Okay. So he has taken his on the shoulder. You take to the car, eh? Okay. If you get tired, just shout. <laughs> <laughs> I can just shout right now. the baskets on the head like this with water I've mastered the art of carrying without holding my hands and yeah until home when there's no car you carry until home like this oh, so that is how you carry water from Angola to Namibia without a passport the Angolan resident said please go ahead what is yours is mine in Africa we share and along the border we truly share because our animals graze on Angola side and we live on the Namibian side. Wow. Yeah. Someday I hope Namibia and Angola will embrace each other yeah. as one country. Maybe how do we call it? Angona. <laughs> oh yeah, Angona. Angona. No longer Angola and Namibia but Angona. That's our new name, Angona. Yeah. <laughs>